pray in the name of Jesus for those that are burdened. I pray for those that are sick in their bodies. I pray for those that need peace. Father, I pray and I intercede for those that don't know you and those that are so broken down and hurting so deeply. Lord Jesus, you came for that reason. You've made yourself available and you are still making yourself available. And together we reach into your loving heart and we cry out to you right now. And our cry is, Lord, I believe. I believe I receive my deliverance. I believe I receive my salvation. I believe I receive my healing. I believe I receive being set free from all this pressure and all these problems and all of the financial burdens and every other thing that Satan has wrought to bring us down. We look to you, Jesus, to raise us back up. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Resting sweetly in Jesus' control. For I'm kept from all danger by night and by day. And His glory is flood. Rejoice in the Lord always. Delight, gladden yourselves in Him. Again, I say rejoice. Let all men know and perceive and recognize your unselfishness, your considerateness, your forbearing spirit. The Lord is near. He is coming soon. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. And God's peace, which transcends all understanding, shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus.
cares upon the Lord for he cares for you and he will sustain you. Yes, call upon the Lord in your day of distress and he will hear you, answer you, redeem your soul and set you in a large place and bring you out of all your distresses. Keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word. Just Jesus, Jesus, pray. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. Be still, my soul, thy God doth undertake to guide the future as he has the past. Thy hope, thy confidence, let nothing shake. All now mysterious shall be bright at last. Shall be forever. We 
griefs, sickness, weakness, and distress, and carried our sorrows and pain. Yet we ignorantly considered him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. The chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him. And with the stripes that wounded him, we are healed and made whole. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge 
and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. And surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes thou shalt behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and dragon thou shalt trample underfoot. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, but not the old self. Instead, a new person has been born. Jesus, the anointed, lives inside of me now, and the life I now live in this body of flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And because the Prince of Peace lives inside of me, I have the peace that passes all understanding and my heart and mind are at rest in Him. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is peace. Where the Spirit Darkest 
darkest hour there is light and life there is help and power in the spirit in the spirit of the I hope in thy word, and I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense, and thou hast been my refuge in the day of my trouble. Make a quality decision to walk in true humility, submitting yourself completely to doing things God's way so he may exalt you at just the right time. Cast all of your care upon him because he is so in love with you, he has only your good in mind. So trust in the Lord. I just set aside the cares of this world and fall in love with you again I just throw away the troubles of this world and fall in love with you I just set aside the cares of this world and fall in love with you again I just throw away the troubles of this world And fall in love with you I trust you, Lord, to supply my Like the raven by the brook, you fly to me. I just set aside the cares of this world and fall in love with you again. I just throw away the troubles of this world and fall in love with you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world.
Jesus lives in believers and the Father lives in him with all the fullness of the Godhead making us complete in him. And we know that we live in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. For he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace, and be thankful and let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. The angel of the Lord will go before you and camp round about you, make the crooked places straight, and the Lord will be with you, never ever failing you. Neither will he forsake you, so fear not, neither be dismayed, for the battle is not yours, but God's. My I give unto you. It's a peace that the world cannot give. It's a peace that the world cannot is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior. Glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living Word. 
God is our strength, a very present help in trouble. Call upon him in the day of trouble, and he will come to your defense, be your refuge, hide you in his pavilion, set you upon a rock, calm the storm, and bring you to your desired haven. During troubled times, he will be with you and honor you, for his thoughts for you are precious, and great is the sum of them. They that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, have not forsaken them that seek thee. In fact, you will never leave us nor forsake us. Lo, you are always with us, even unto the end. We may be persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And 
So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. The meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Shalom, shalom, shalom. My joy I give to you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. My joy. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint.
Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the anointed Christ is born of God. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is loving God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous, because whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Now receive this peace in Jesus' name. Yield to the peace of God that comes up within you and comes upon you now. Just receive it and say, I receive peace as the Father imparts this peace unto me. I receive the peace of God. I rebuke any fear in my life and I cast it out in the name of Jesus. God sustains me. My Father takes care of me. He'll see to me. And peace Jesus left with me. And I receive it now in Jesus' name. Now say that before the Lord and just begin to praise and worship Him. Father, we do love you. We do honor you. We thank you, Lord, for peace coming into us now. In Jesus' name, amen.
in the light.